The fate of two Japanese hostages held by ISIS is unknown. The terror group demanding a $200 million ransom from the Japanese government. And now the deadline for that payment has passed. Fox News chief intelligence correspondent Catherine Harridge joins us. Catherine? Well, thank you, Andrea. Earlier today, Fox News obtained a series of tweets that were sent out by an ISIS-linked account. And tonight they're being examined by the U.S. intelligence community. In those tweets, they claim that the deadline has passed to pay this $200 million ransom by the government in Tokyo and that they have executed these hostages. This is still being assessed and there is no confirmation of the claim, but this group does have a track record of following through on its threats when it comes to the execution of these hostages, Andrea. Catherine, mm -hmm. I saw your reporting earlier. Mm -hmm. You mentioned that a teleprompter is involved. You were even analyzing the credibility of the video. Can you speak to some of the points that you were making earlier? I mean, this seems like a very tech-savvy organization. Well, they're getting uh, slicker and slicker with every video. In this particular case, when you look closely at the video, outside analysts have pointed to the fact that when you look at the shadows towards the bottom of the image from the two hostages and then also the executioner, if there was a single source of light in this image from sunlight, let's say, all of the shadows should be going in the same direction. But in this particular case, they converge. So there are at least a couple of different sources of light. And one idea that was thrown out there is that they used what we call in TV a green screen when you project the image behind you that you want, like, like I have here mm -hmm. in this particular studio. And ISIS has control of a half dozen TV stations. And there was another episode with a British hostage, John Cantley, where he's in a studio and he's speaking to camera and he has such a lengthy speech and the way his eyes are moving, it suggests they were using a teleprompter in that case. So it shows you that they're using the technology that's at their disposal to try and put out a very slick message, Andrea. All right, Catherine, mm -hmm. we'll stay on that story. Thanks so much. You're welcome.